Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome in. I hope you're all doing really, really well. My name is Amanda and this is the Connected Conduit where I just open up, tippy tap in and bring through messages for you. All right, let's see who wants to connect with us today. So in order to receive, let's just open up, all right? Let's all do it together. Let's open our hearts and our minds to divine truth, love, guidance, clarity, and wisdom that wishes to come through today for us. Okay. I'm hearing the name Mason. Mason. All right, so that may resonate with you. That is very, very specific. Um, that could be your name. That could be the name of someone that you are dealing with. Okay, so it's just going to be extra confirmation for those of you named Mason. <laughs> but if your name is not Mason, this reading is still for you. There's still going to be a message in here for you, okay? It's just that spirit really wants Mason to sit up and listen, all right? Take note. I speak with good intent. Okay, so the message coming through with this one is spirit wants you to be very mindful of the words that you speak, okay? Because your words create your reality. Your words are creating the very foundation upon which you are building your life. Be mindful in terms of the words that you use to describe other people and also be very mindful of the words you use when you talk about yourself, okay? Spirit is saying, you know, really be mindful of self-talk at this time. Like, how do you talk to yourself, right? And is it kind? Is it caring? Is it nurturing? Or are you being hard on yourself? Mean? Belittling? Do you talk down to yourself? Right? Like, uh, I suck. I'm not cut out for, for this. I'm, this, this isn't going anywhere. I might as well just give up. I'm never going to amount to anything. You know, stuff like this. Okay, they just really want you to be very mindful of how you talk to yourself. And if you find that you're slipping into that, just acknowledge that you're doing it. That's the first step, right? Step one is to acknowledge it. Step two is to forgive yourself for doing it. And step three is to release that negative thought and then replace it with a positive one, okay? Like, no, I am a good person. I am worthy. Um, I am going to be successful. I am capable. I am strong. I am intelligent. I am loving. I am kind, okay? So just pump yourself up. Be your own best friend at this time because you've been through so much and I feel like I want to burst into tears, I feel like you're really tired. You're tired. You're sad. I'm hearing lonely. And you feel misunderstood. Okay. Um, Spirit wants you to know that you're not alone. That they are with you. And they're guiding you. And they're supporting you. You're never alone. And they want you to know that you are aligning with your soul tribe, okay? People who will really, truly love you for who you really are at a soul level. People who will see you and support you and cherish you. People who are kind and loving, okay? Those people are coming in, so don't, don't lose hope. Um... I feel like bursting into tears. I think it's been a, a long slog for you. And I feel that you haven't had a lot of 3D support. And what I mean by that is like you've had a lot of spiritual support, but you haven't had a lot of people in your life supporting you. Okay. That's what I mean when I say 3D, like three 
the third dimension, right? Um, you've been doing a lot of heart healing, heart chakra healing. It's taken a lot of time, okay? Because the wounds were very deep, is what I'm hearing. Very deep wounds around the heart chakra. More stuff is coming up right now, they're saying, okay? More stuff to be healed. So you may be finding that you're really tired, that you're very emotional, that you are tearing up. Um, maybe you're at work and you need to excuse yourself and go to the bathroom and have a good cry. Okay, allow yourself to cry and don't feel bad about it because your body, your body is purging a lot of dense, heavy energies at this time. You're healing. You're going through another healing cycle is what they're saying. Um, wow, I'm feeling so emotional. I just got... I felt I feel like I've just been punched in the gut, you guys, and I feel like I want to cry. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sending you a lot of healing right now. I'm going to just take a minute and just send some good vibes your way. I'm just going to do it and spirit's going to work through me. So, if you are open to receiving this healing, all you have to do is say, "Yes, I am open to receiving this healing from spirit today." Okay? That's all you have to do is just affirm yes. Okay? they want me to use two hands if you feel like you need to cry make sure you're just you know you're in a safe place where you feel like you can do that because I feel like some stuff might come up for you as we do this There. It is done. I hope that helped you guys. I was just very heavily guided to do that. Um, I'm going to pull from my tarot here. I just split the deck on the Three of Cups, you guys. So the Three of Cups is all about friends laughter celebration fun your soul tribe your soul tribe they're coming in stay hopeful stay positive about your life because good things are coming to you abundance is coming to you in all forms it's going to come to you in the form of love friendship healing health excitement, passion, desire, like drive, you know, like you're going to be finding that you're coming back to life because I feel, I feel the 10 of wands energy for you and the, and the three of swords energy for you where it's, it's been a lot. You've been really bogged down, overworked, burdened and exhausted and drained. And you're like, when, like, when am I going to have a breakthrough? And spirit wants you to know it's coming. It's really coming, okay? The wheel and the sun on the split. So things are going to start moving in a very positive direction for you very soon. So keep the faith, all right? Okay. A lot of good luck. Well, a lot of luck is headed your way. A lot of divine blessings, all right? We have the page of swords. So this is an energy of being curious, gathering more information, being a student, and learning.
okay? I feel that you're being heavily guided to, to learn something new, all right? So whatever you're kind of curious about, Spirit wants you to research that and get more information and then actually take action on that. So maybe you're being encouraged to go back to school or register for a program or um, get a gym membership or I don't know, register for a club or something. It, it's something where they want you to actually take action on the guidance that you're receiving here. Okay. Follow the breadcrumbs that they're leaving for you. They're leaving a lot of signs for you to follow. Um, let's see what else they want you to know. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so this is an energy of guarding your heart. This woman is clutching a purse over top of her heart chakra, and I just feel that you have a lot of deep wounds there, and because of that, you've kind of closed down. You've closed off your heart chakra, and so you haven't been able to receive blessings from the universe because you're not open to it. Okay, so that's why Spirit's coming through in this reading to help you heal your heart chakra even deeper so that you can open up and you can welcome new opportunities, new relationships into your life, okay? Death and rebirth. So that's a card of transformation. You're going through a shift, a really big shift here. I feel like you've been through a lot of change and now it's like more change and, and you're like, oh, okay, oh my gosh, <laughs> like when is this, like when am I going to just feel stable or can, you know, when am I going to be able to feel like I can just take a breather? All right, because I feel that your life has gone through so many shifts in the past like five years. It's 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 insane is what I'm hearing. It's been insane how much your life has changed um, and you've changed. You've changed as well. But I feel that spirit wants you to know that you are letting go of old stuff so that you can step into the new so you can have a new beginning. You're being like reborn here is what they're saying. So you're coming out the other side completely changed and transformed. You're not even the same person that you used to be. You want different things for yourself. The Four of Swords. Yeah, so this is a card of healing, taking a break meditating, resting, gathering your strength, okay? So it's okay to take a break. It's okay to lay down and have a nap if you need to, okay? Take care of yourself. Many of you are, it's like you're curious about alternative healing techniques or practices, Okay, so many of you, you're having a hard time healing. And so you've been, you know, researching Reiki or, you know, how to heal with herbs or things like this, more natural healing practices, I want to say for you. And Spirit's saying definitely go for it. If you're being called to book yourself a Reiki appointment and have some energy work done on you, do it because you're going to notice a shift, okay? Um, me personally, in my own life, you guys, I'll never forget the first Reiki session I had. And I am not kidding you when I tell you that this man, he didn't even touch me. He just put his hands over my shoulders and I could feel my shoulders get hot. There was so much energy coming through his hands. My shoulders got hot. And then I it radiated, this energy flowed down my body and it went into my solar plexus chakra and I felt the energy dig up a blockage 
in my solar plexus and churn it up almost like if you stick a pitchfork into the ground and you unearth like some potatoes if you've ever done that or you stick a shovel in the ground and you just unearth a plant okay it was like boosh okay he just reached in with the <laughs> with his energy and he moved something that was blocked or stuck or stagnant within me and I broke down into tears I was sobbing but it was a safe place to do so and I'm telling you afterwards I felt lighter I felt free for the first time in a long time it, he alleviated my emotional discomfort and pain okay so I can't say enough good things about Reiki you guys as long as the Reiki practitioner is legit okay so do your research make sure that the person you're working with is legit they have good reviews um and all of this okay queen of swords so the queen of swords is an energy of someone who's been hurt quite deeply and so you may have you may have turned cold okay you may have turned a little bit cold here you are closed off to love you're closed off to relationships you're closed off to change and i'm getting this shutting down energy from you like you just want to shut down you want to shut out the world and shut down um or that's what maybe what you've been trying to get away from because you know that you you've been shutting down and you want to open up but you're struggling to do so okay spirit's gonna help you they're gonna help you with this i feel like they're gonna help you trust again yeah the four of wands wow so this is a very beautiful energy um the four of wands speaks to building a foundation okay and that was coming through at the beginning of the reading your your words the words that you speak about yourself and others are laying the foundation upon which you will build your life your words will manifest your reality your thoughts will manifest your reality so keep your thoughts and your words very positive both when when it comes to yourself self-talk and when you speak about others that's very important okay they're just really bringing that through um there is an element of spirit is working with you to find forgiveness okay because when you forgive you can let go of a lot of dense emotions that are stuck in your body you can let go of anger resentment and all of this um and then you can be free you can be liberated forgiving someone is for you it's for your benefit it's not for the other person's benefit it's for you right it's so that you can heal it's so that you can let go and make peace with it so you can move on and enjoy your life rather than being stuck in anger or or bitterness or or whatever it is for you right forgiving someone allows you to be free it doesn't say to the other person like hey what you did was okay to me no it, it doesn't excuse what's you know somebody else's wrong doings it just frees you from these difficult emotions Okay, so that's where spirit wants your focus. They want your focus on, they want you to be very mindful of your words and your thoughts. And they want you to follow the nudges that you're getting around receiving healing through alternative methods. Okay, such as Reiki or like a natural path or perhaps seeking out um, someone who can help you with your diet, a nutritionist, okay, if that's what you're being guided to do. But balance will be restored to your life. Okay, I'm going to get some oracles for you.
abundance yes so exactly spirit wants you to know that abundance is coming in for you a lot of it okay health wealth friends family whatever it is you're trying to manifest here okay but the thing is is that in order to welcome this abundance into your life spirit is saying you have to open up because right now you're closed down you're closed off you're not open to receiving this and that's why it's not coming in yet okay um something that may help you to relax and transmute some of your heavy energy some of the pain that you're experiencing is music okay listening to music or dancing or moving your body or going for a walk in nature taking a sacred bath with epsom salts or something um there's something here that music would be very beneficial for you it's gonna help you elevate your vibration harmony that's beautiful so abundance and harmony is coming in for you and look he's playing a fiddle okay in this card he's playing a lute or a guitar or something i don't know what it's called and in this card he's playing a violin or a fiddle so a strong message around music music being very healing for you at this time and we have forgiveness on the bottom of the deck, you guys. So I feel that Spirit's encouraging you to forgive yourself and forgive others in this situation so that love can heal. Can heal you it can heal the situation and help you move forward into a prosperous future without hanging on to um resentment or anger or pain. Okay. And I understand it can be hard. Um, I recently set the intentions to, to forgive someone in my life for my past who really, I felt, did me dirty. <laughs> and um, I sat down and I just said the words like, I, I forgive this person. I understand the higher perspective in this situation. I understand that my soul signed up for this lesson and that without this person doing me dirty or hurting me, I wouldn't have had that the soul growth i wouldn't have had that lesson i wouldn't have had the opportunity to balance out the karma that i needed to balance out in this lifetime right so that really helped me personally you guys like let go um, and forgive this person right because basically with the, and that might help you it might help you in this situation because that's how i look at things right because we come here to learn our soul comes here to grow and expand, right? And evolve and elevate and raise. We, we're here to raise our frequency by stepping into love and stepping away from the lower, denser vibrations of like fear and anger and stuff like that, right? And we're, we're, we're also here to clear karma in this lifetime, to balance out our karma. So... Sometimes we can bring karma from past lives into this lifetime that needs to be cleared. And in order to do that, we sign a contract saying, okay, um, when I'm 30, you're going to come into my life. You're going to do this. It's going to hurt me, but then I'm going to learn from it. And then yada, yada, yada. And it's going to allow me to balance out the karma because we don't know. We don't know what's gone on in past lives, right? But we've all, we've all been... Um, who knows? Like maybe we, we really messed up in a past life, right? And we, we made some really bad decisions. And in this lifetime, we, we've got to balance it out. So that's how I try to look at things. You know, I'm like, well, it's an opportunity for me to rise to the occasion and make things right in this lifetime, to make amends, to balance the karma, to do the right thing, to let go of fear, worry, doubt, bitterness, anger, hate, resentment, 
and rise and rise and heal right and um yeah i don't know they were just encouraging me to to share that story with you because i feel that for many of you it's going to resonate with what you're going through right now so anyways i set the intentions to forgive this person and i actually ended up breaking down into tears and i was crying and i just let it out i let it go and i felt much much better afterwards much lighter and happier <laughs> all right so anyways that's that might help you in your situation intention okay so and music music on the bottom again something coming through about music maybe some of you want to be a singer or you want to compose music or you want to be some sort of a musician or you play yeah you could play an instrument or write music but listening to music is going to be really healing for you okay and with intention here i feel this is spirit coming through saying remember how powerful your words and your thoughts are and and to get very clear on what you intend to do with your life right like get very clear with your goals and your ambitions and your dreams and your desires and then speak them into existence using positive words because that's how you're going to manifest a new abundant harmonious healed reality for yourself okay i'm going to hold up this card one more time i speak with good intent this is going to set you free speaking positively about yourself and others is going to set you free that's what they're saying and help you harmonize Because you are holding back in, in certain areas in your life because of what's gone on in the past. And they really want you to shift and release that so you can step into this new timeline, this new reality for yourself. Allow yourself the gift of a new reality by forgiving yourself and others, okay? So take the time you need to heal. Take the time you need to rest. Look into other healing modalities if you're being guided to do so and know that everything's going to be okay everything's going to work out okay and you have victory and success coming in towards you but first things first first things first they're saying first you need to lay this solid foundation upon which you can build a healthy future okay and that foundation is going to be spiritual physical, mental, and emotional, okay? Those are the four pillars of, of a stable foundation. And, and to remember that healing is, a, is very holistic, right? We have to look at all four of those areas in order to heal ourselves and make sure that all four of those areas are balanced and, and well and whole so that we can experience... Um, harmony in our lives okay they're also saying a spiritual practice would be very very beneficial for you all right like walking through the forest or gardening or maybe doing pottery or some sort of hobby that can quiet your mind and still your thoughts okay something that really relaxes you so you can do meditation or yoga or what, whatever you want here. Whatever works for you, okay? Because one size doesn't fit all, right? Ooh, they're saying music again. <laughs> Listen to music, okay? So maybe some of you just need to put your earbuds in, sit on your couch, close your eyes, breathe, and just listen to some really beautiful music, okay? That is meditation too. That's a way to meditate. Um, that's so weird. I just wrote down... <laughs> I meant to write down beautiful music, but it, I wrote down B 
beautician. So I don't know. It just sort of came out. Beautician. So maybe some of you want to do something with beauty or makeup or I don't know. Take it if it resonates. But I wrote it down and I didn't mean to. It just came came out. <laughs> okay, it's like spirit came in and they took my hand and made me write that word down. So there you go. Beautician. All right. Okay, my darlings, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm sending you all the good vibes, wishing you all the best on your journey. And I'll see you around. I'll see you in the next one. And remember to stay aligned, my friends. Stay aligned. Bye.